Hello again, everyone. This is Carson back again, and I'm back again with another Hot Wheels collection update video. And today, uh, the K and J case cars just landed in my area finally after a huge drought. Let's go ahead and check them out. Now, I won't uh, last very long with these, but I will show off the cars, if mainly if they have gotten special features. So, in this assortment, found a gray and red motor wing. Uh, this one looks really good. Although the other one looked pretty good. Here is Street Wiener. I think uh, this the wheels are supposed to be relish, I think. The, uh, oh, now that I think about it, the other one was like a chili dog, and this is supposed to be a basic hot dog, which is pretty interesting. Uh, and uh, here is Bubble Matic. This is a, it's got those weird, odd colors given to the casting, like it's a uh, previous recolor, and now it's just, it's a little bit more basic, but now it's, it's still, it's still pretty cool. Here are the classic 55 Nomad. This one looks a lot like Lonnie's. Uh, this looks a, like a mix between uh, Lonnie's, um, Lonnie's, uh, I know it's Lonnie's Nomad, like Lonnie's World Race Nomad, and Mater went what he used to look like back in cars. So that's what this thing reminds me of, now that I think about it. Bone Shaker, again, another recolor, a little, you know, once again, this thing had to get the recolor treatment. And Eruption. For those of you who don't know this casting that well, I'm gonna go ahead and show you. It's got a feature in the back. For, it's got two wings that slide out. This version, uh, in terms of colors, I don't really like this. Uh, I don't really like the colors, but the, but it looks okay. Looks okay, but I don't know how to feel about the color combo. I think they should have picked other colors, in all honesty. Here is the 64 Chevy Nova wagon, and I've seen this tie-dye spiral pattern, which is pretty cool. Dune Daddy, um, I think this is a, when I first saw this, I thought this was like a satin white, but no, this is a gloss white, which is pretty interesting. And this is Drift Stub. And the wheels look like that they're bare, that like they're just bare, they're not painted, but these are painted black. It's really hard to tell. I think it's probably due to the glare from the light. Uh, reflecting off of the uh, blister. Here is Muscle Bound. This one looks really cool. I, I don't know what whether this one. I don't know if this one looks better than the green one. But I know I'll, I know this one was uh, pretty popular with some collectors because this is a non-licensed casting like Switchback. Um, here is Diaper Dragger. Um, the, the red one looked a little bit better than this, and all. It, this one looked a little bit better than the red one. Uh, here is Track Manga. This looks a lot similar to a version of, uh, this looked uh, very similar to that one release of Mad Manga. I will show it on screen right now. Um, that's what it looked like. But yeah, that's pretty cool. Here is Octane. The, uh, orange version that they, that Psyonix promised to release is finally out now. I don't have the blue version, like, right next to me right now, but I will. Uh, put them right next to each other. And this looks really, really nice. Representative of Rocket League. Here's Piranha Terror and Fast Master. This looks a lot better than the red than that red version that was released a few months ago in the E case assortment. This looks really awesome. I'm a I'm a sucker for black cars. I don't know why. I just love the black cars. They always look they always look very sleek. And finally Found the custom Ford Bronco, the Roger Dodger 2.0, and Dior 3. Here's the Circle Flame logo for Dior. No, not Dior 3. Um, the custom Ford Bronco. Here's the Circle Flame logo. It is right there. It's a treasure hunt. I will open this guy up. Now, I do want to talk about these two castings, the Roger Dodger 2.0 and the Dior 3. These two castings have been causing a bit of some controversy lately. Uh, because these two castings do not look in line with the original castings that they're based on. 
But I, and now I am going to say a few things. I'm going to hold back judgment on these castings, like just a little bit of judgment, but I will talk about these castings in this video regardless. And I am going to open them up in this video. Um, I did, I was open to these. I am open to these castings. I welcome them with open arms so much so that I actually got another set of these. Now this Roger Dodger 2.0 actually had a crack in the back of its blister, as you can tell. So I might as well, I was like, you know what, you know what, forget it, I'll just open it. And the Dior 3, um, I know I was very excited to see it. I was a little bit surprised to see what this thing would look like, and given that it was an electric car, um, which is what both of these are based, which is the premise that both these and two other castles that are going to be released soon, the Twin Mill Gen E and Electric Silhouette, that's what these two other cars are going to be having the premise of. Um just electric themed car electric powered cars this is the, that's what they're going to have the premise of but i'm going to go ahead and open these castings so you guys can have a look at them i'm opening up roger dodger 2.0 first and i'll go with the granddaddy of to me that is some of you may not like these two castings and that's fine um and if you choose to spend your money on these cars that's on you but for those who are curious, who are not Hot Wheels nerds at all and just happen to get this car, fun fact, this, these flames and this purple pattern is, this design philosophy is based on the original Roger Dodger. Now, I, this is the third iteration of, I like to call this the third iteration of Roger Dodger, even though the, even though the retooled version of Roger Dodger, the original one to be specific, uh, I like to call it Roger Dodger 1.5. But yeah, this is technically Roger Dodger 2.0. Let's see how it rolls. It's very hollow. Again, I'm not gonna put too much judgment on the casting. I will do, I'll save this one, Dior 3, Twin Mill Jenny, and Electra Silhouette on a future video. I'll talk about these guys in a future video once I have them all in my possession. Now, I don't have Roger Dodger or the retooled version with me. I don't have them with me right now. But I do have, obviously, this guy as you're looking right now. I also am going to show a picture of the original Roger Dodger that it was based on. And one thing I am kind of hoping for this casting, even though, they've, even though they've already confirmed all the treasure hunts, I really hope that they make a blue version of this one. That's one thing I am hoping to kind of pay homage to the... Uh, elusive rare blue Roger Dodger so I thought that was so I, I hope they do that in the future assortments now let's check out DR3 here it is the bike is a separate piece from the interior the surfboards are the part of the interior. It's a metal body, plastic-based casting. Forgot to mention, uh, this is also a metal body, plastic-based casting, the Roger Dodger 2.0. This part is made of plastic. The window piece is made of plastic. And uh, yeah, that's just like, if you want to know the intel on the materials used for this casting. Oh, and one thing I wanted to point out about the uh, box art, uh, the box art of the cars, they're now adding this from K case and onward. It's the it's not the same without the flame. This little slogan right here. So I thought I'd point that out. But anyways, I'm gonna get back to DR3. Um, when I first saw that that this was gonna be DR3, I was a bit like I said, I was a bit surprised. Um, it doesn't look a it looks a little in line with the Dioras, uh, with the past few Dioras that were made. Dioras. Uh, one and two, and I am going to count this one, the Diora Tuned. Um, I am going to say it does look at a little bit in line because there's a front seating compartment and it's got a, it's got some uh, exercise thing in the, in the center of the casting. Now, it's not too impressive, but, um, but I will say that this casting does... It's not going to overshadow the Dior 3 in my... No, not the Dior 3. The Dior 2, in my opinion. The Dior 2 is still my second favorite. Um, it, because Dior 2 still has all the memories. I like this casting, but Dior, Dior 2 still overshadows this casting. 
that's just in my opinion. A lot of people wanted to see the uh, Dior 3 look a little bit better than this, which some of the fan concepts I've seen were pretty cool. And this this looks pretty, this I will say looks okay. Um, it's not too bad, but it's, it, it could, you know, it's not bad. I, it, it, it could need, it would need a few tweaks in my opinion, but that's just my opinion. And then like I said, I'm not gonna hold, I'm, I'm gonna hold back a little bit of judgment on this casting. And I am gonna save like a future video on this casting um, and the Roger Dodger 2.0. But with that out of the way, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Leave a comment, like, and subscribe. And the signature car of this video is Dior 3. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Leave a comment, like, and subscribe. Take care. Bye.